Hi all, welcome to Homeschooling with Hera. Hope everyone is well. In today's video, I'm going to share with you another English spelling rule and that is about the digraph sh. When s and h are together, they give a new sound and that is sh as in ship. But in English, there are certain rules where we can use this digraph for this sound. We also have some alternative spellings for the sh sound. I will also tell you about those alternative. But before that, I want to tell you that if you are new to my channel, so this channel is just for you. If you are interested in English spelling rules, English grammar, English phonics, and above all, how to teach all this stuff to your kids and to your students too. All right, so before I read this rule to you, let me explain it a little. This rule says that if you hear the sh sound at the beginning of a word like in shell, sh is at the beginning, or the word shelf, or the word shipment, if you hear the sh sound at the beginning of a word, write the sh sound with sh. If you hear sh sound, at the end of a word or at the end of a syllable it's a single syllable word and sh is at the end you can also write it with sh as in fish or dish got you at the beginning of a first syllable or at the end of a syllable you can write sh sound with digraph sh but if you hear sh sound at the beginning of a second syllable or third syllable. For example, the word is session. S-E double S-I-O-N. Session. Sh, sh, sh sound is coming here. But we are not writing it with S-H. Why? Because this is a disyllabic word. Let me mark it for you. Session. Okay. It is a disyllabic word and the sure sound is coming at the beginning of the second syllable. So here you cannot write this digraph. You cannot write sh at the beginning of the second or third syllable. It can only come at the beginning of the first syllable like this or at the end of a syllable like this. But it cannot begin the second or third syllable right if you have the sure sound uh, in the second or third syllable you need to write it with either s i sh or t i sh t i also say the sure sound or c i sh it also say the sure sound t i sh as in partition par t shan okay uh, c i sh as in facial fa shell okay here a is the open syllable facial so now let's mark the syllabus this is the first one fa shell right shell sound is at the beginning of the second syllable so you cannot write it with sh in this word par t shun partition again sure is at the beginning of the third syllable so you cannot write it with sh but it is not end yet. There is something more that if you hear the sh sound at the beginning of any other syllable except the first one, you can write it with sh provided the syllable is ship. For example, the word hardship, friendship, Um, and what? Companionship. Companionship. And so on. So this is the only way when you can write the SH digraph as sure sound at the beginning of any other syllable except the first one. Right? Except that if you hear the sure sound in the middle of a word, at the beginning of any other syllable, you need to write it with s i sh, t i sh, and c i sh. If you want to learn about these phonograms, so I have some very detailed videos on this 
giving the link in the description box so do watch those videos as well i know you would love it if you are interested in learning english spelling rules so this all was the explanation of the rule now let's read the rule once and you will get it like this diagraph sh sh is used at the beginning and at the end of a word but not at the beginning of any syllable after the first one right as i told you after the first one except for the ending ship got you we can use it at the beginning of a syllable or at the end of a syllable but we cannot use it at the beginning of any other syllable after the first one except if the ending is ship got it i hope you have liked today's video if yes so please hit the like button if haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel i shall see you soon with something new take care bye for now and don't forget to make it a great day bye